Hey, 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 family, it's your girl Evelyn here, and I'm back with another video in my self-care series. And today I just want to talk about the pillars of self-care because I think when we have discussions on the internet and in the world right now about what self-care is, I think a lot of it is just focused on mental health and wellness, which I think is a huge component. But I actually would venture to say that there's nine areas of self-care that you really want to consider. And so I'm going to keep this video brief because all of a sudden my battery on my camera wants to be blinking at me right now. So as I start this video, it's a hater. Okay, no, it's not. It's going to make it through the video. All right. So let me get into it. So one of the things, if you guys have decided to join my Best Life Challenge, you will see if you got the bundle that I actually offer suggestions for um, living your best life in a lot of these areas outside of the free guide that you get. And also, if you haven't uh, signed up for the Best Life Challenge, the details to do that are in the description of this video. And you can also sign up for my free workshop, How to Create a Vision Board That Actually Works. Okay, and I'm going to be walking you through how to incorporate self-care into your vision and your plan for your life. So let's get into these nine pillars of self-care. I've got my notes here because I'm trying to be professional and not ramble. And I just want to, I want you to think about what would self-care look like to you in these nine areas. So I'm just going to list the areas, right? So number one, and these are not in any particular order, but in your faith, what does self-care in your faith look like in your finances? right what would caring for yourself look like in your finances in your friendships okay that's number three number four is with your family right what does self-care look like inside of your family structure number five fun and adventure or 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 travel and leisure whatever you want to call it but fun and adventure right what does self-care look like to you what do you enjoy okay uh, what is what would self-care look like in your business or in your career you know, do you need some boundaries? You need some office hours? Do you need to raise your prices? What does self-care look like? How would you feel cared for the best in your business or in your career? Also, then just traditional self-care, like your mindset, your mental well-being, your self-esteem, your self-value, your self-worth. Working on that, what do you need to do to make sure that you're cared for and you're in a great state of mind? Also, self-care in your health and wellness. You know, how are you taking care of your physical body? And then uh, last but not least, your romantic relationships. OK, um, what is self-care and what is a healthy um, lifestyle look like in those areas? And so one of the things that I'm going to be sharing with those of you who sign up for the how to create a vision board that actually works workshop is how to create strategic plans and self-care and goal in all of those areas and then how to actually have strategies and tactics to live those out so you can live your best life so it's a really really short video today i know we are uh hitting the end of vlogmas but if you want to continue the journey okay if you're new here make sure you subscribe or make sure you guys sign up for the best life challenge that we're going to be doing and for the How to Create a Vision Board That Works workshop, whether you catch it live or you catch the replay, you will be able to watch that. I hope you be, have been enjoying Vlogmas. And I also hope that you'll let me know which one of these series have you really, really enjoyed. Did you enjoy this one? Do you want me to continue it when Vlogmas is over? And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.